Hello, welcome to Anipolet TV. I'm Chinwe. Audio Jungle. Thank you so much. If this is not your first time on my channel, it's good to always have you here. Yes, it's good to always have you here. But if this is your first time on my channel, hello thank you so much for stopping by i hope you like what you see and that makes you to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you get updates whenever i upload my videos so in this video i'm going to be reviewing a nollywood movie titled behind the cloud you know for any movie i decide to review like it has to be worth it like it has to be worth my time i'm not really a big fan of movies in general especially nollywood movies but for me to sit down and watch it and then make a review video about it then you should know that that video was worth every second i spent staring at my screen and waiting for it to finish so first of all this movie was worth every second like i've watched the movie like three times and i have a feeling i'll still drag another friend to watch it because it was that good a very good way to enjoy this movie is to watch it with someone else even if it's just one extra person but i feel like at least three people watching this movie will make sense a lot and the reason i'm saying that is because of the game you could play with this movie like honestly you should do a drinking game with this movie because the movie should have just been called spill the tea because where the movie started getting even more interesting was where they now start spilling tea on each other and i was like nah wow like it's really spilled the tea and it will make perfect sense if you watch it with a friend a partner a brother or sister with a drink in your hand like you guys should make it a drinking game and every time they spill the tea on someone you sip so straight into the story, the movie is about a couple, a couple that is living good, but the wife, like from the first scene, like you will know that she's Bobo B's girls, like she's this type of people that like to show off and, you know, we have arrived, we carry it, we are rich, we are proud, we are big people, hey, she's that kind of person. And she's married to this guy that enjoys her crazy, that just knows how to handle her. But where the drama started was when a neighbor moved in and she just had a problem with it because first of all, she asked her husband to get that flat because like i said she's a obese girls and she has to do with bigs but her husband could not afford the flats he was like ah, we're still living in this good place like we don't really need to move it's not as if we have a big family so when those people moved in that was a problem like how dare she and her husband pay for the flat that i told my husband to get for me and every time she does the peeping through her window and looking and saying yes how they are forming i know they are not happy yes they are here forming and see they are happy but i know i know deep inside that it's not true it's all a facade until one fateful day after they had like a problem their children fought in the school and the couple had to come together to talk about it you know apologize to each other complain to each other and just you know try to settle their quarrels the men intended to settle the quarrels but the women the women they were it for the long drama they were not they were not there to you know sort out their issue within two or three talks so that's how they sat in the parlor and this is where you should get your drink out who watched the first season of big brother and who remembered that scene or that particular day when they were digging into their past and trying to pick out who's struggle was the deepest in this situation it was about spilling tea on each other like all their dirty laundries they were just washing it in public and it was just like wow if you think that you've done it dirty in the past you've not made this pair of couple like what they have done oh my god oh my god it's what every shot i took while i was watching that movie with my friend if they're the kind of person that loves a train wreck i know it's some people's guilty pleasure like some of you like watching others get dragged through the mud so if you're that kind of person that loves a train wreck thank god it's entertainment like it's a movie it's not someone's real life before you start saying eh chin you're so mean but <laughs> if you like a train wreck let's just leave that side apart you're going to enjoy this movie and it was as if they were now competing for who would tear each other apart the most and it was intense oh my god it was a humbling experience for me to watch like on their behalf i was humbled after watching that kind of thing like there's no way you'll be in that kind of situation and you leave that situation the same person as you enter like you guys be humbled after that kind of situation it was too intense another good example that will give you an idea of the kind of tea these people are spilling on each other there was this blog that trended one time i think it was in 2012 or so it was by one linda girl at this teller i can't remember it was a blog post where she asked people to share their dirtiest and craziest part like the things that they've done that 
are unbelievable. <laughs> I think that's the word. Like the kind of things people are saying that they did. You know, it's those kind of things that even Reverend Fathers, when they're here doing confession, they're like, nah, wow, are you sure? Are you sure Hellfire can even take you, this girl? <laughs> it was that bad. So that's the kind of thing that these people were really doing in this movie. And it was just a really good entertainment because the girls were dramatic with it. The guys, they brought in their own humor. So that's how they kept on going at each other until someone now pulled the death card. First of all, she threatened to kill herself. And they were still like, mm-hmm. Like, they weren't really feeling. They were still trying to beg her. And one thing was still into another. And was if someone still wanted to spill more tea. So she now said, I'm dying. And they now calm down. It was as if, ah, finally we let it all out. Just try not to watch this movie alone because it's that kind of movie that after watching and you try to explain it to somebody, you just be like, do you know what? You just need to watch this movie. About the flaws of the movie, the one that I want to point out is the fact that they kept on confusing the gender of the neighbor's child. Like, at a point I was like, is it that it was a guy that played it and then a girl entered because the girl kept on saying he did this to my child he did that to my child i'm like but it's a girl how are you confusing the agenda like is that the director did not tell you that oh no sorry the boy went back no no the boy went back he's a girl that is not playing the child is that someone forgot to tell the actors because they did it in more than two cents they kept on saying he 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 about the neighbor's child Whereas neighbor's child was a girl. That's one thing the director should look out for. Like, you don't need to make that kind of mistakes. Like, really. I will find it and I will point it out and I will tell you. Like, we are beyond that. This is 2020 in Hollywood. Correct that. But in all, it's a very good entertainment. Make sure you watch it with a friend. The title of the movie is Behind the Clouds. Starring Two Sweet Annan, Luchi Donald, Lily Stan Iwanugo, and Benita Onyuke Gochuku. Thank you so much for watching. That's all I have for you in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Before you leave, like this video, subscribe to my channel, turn on your notifications so that I get updates whenever I upload my video. Once again, thank you so much for watching and until next time, stay wilding and thriving.